Lacking transparency was supposed to be made easier through the Utah law known as GRAMA, or Government Records Access and Management Act. It was designed to keep the government accountable to us, the taxpaying public. Yeah, Dini, it was once considered among the best laws in the nation when it came to transparency. But as Danielle Rivera discovered, a lot has changed over the course of these last three decades. Well, that's right, Mike. A simple text from phone to phone can create a government record. But the KSL investigators found the policy and procedures for records in the Utah legislature mean you might never see that text. 1992, Aladdin hit the big screen. Bill Clinton won the presidency. Commercial dial-up internet made its debut. Will Grandma then be a shining light for the press or an invitation for privacy invasions? In July of 92, Utah's Grandma Law broke new ground. But just a few months later, the first text message was sent, changing communication forever. Doesn't matter what the physical form of the record is, whether it's a, an email, a text message, something on Twitter or Facebook. Utah Attorney Jeff Hunt helped draft Grandma. He said any time a lawmaker is doing the public's work, Grandma applies. All those are records under Grandma. But how easy is it for Utahns to actually get those records? We should have insight into what they're doing. When it comes to Grandma requests, Jonathan Bejarano considers himself a frequent filer. Too many to count. Most recently, he wanted to see a particular text message. I just got a text last night, and I hate to, I hate to use names, but I will. Donovan Mitchell is not happy with us. Senate President Stuart Adams said he received a text about the Utah jazz player and the legislature's stance on critical race theory. I wanted to know context. So Bejarano filed a grandma request. First one came back with nothing. And then I was like, okay, let me try something. He then sent his own text to Adams and filed another records request seeking any text messages on Adams' phone, which included key words like CRT and Mitchell. But he received the same response. No records responsive to your request. What did you make of that? It makes me a little upset because these people are elected to represent us. Bejarano is not a reporter. He's one citizen who believes lawmakers have found ways to skirt transparency. And some of them told us he's not wrong. There's enough ways around grandma and People don't like to hear that, but there are. Democrat Representative Andrew Stoddard sponsored a bill during the last legislative session hoping to clarify grandma. People were using personal devices for government business and not providing access to those records. It's no secret that some lawmakers prefer to use private email accounts to do the public's business. Three senators openly list private emails in their contact information on the legislature's website. And that to me is a big red flag. The KSL investigators sent a survey to all 104 Utah legislators asking if they use private accounts to do state business. Only 13 responded, two Republicans, 11 Democrats. Republican Kurt Bramble told us he does it to make sure no one can accuse him of using his government email for campaigning. Others said when government and private emails mix, it's usually out of convenience. Senator Kathleen Reby explained, constituents frequently contact me through other emails. Representative Jen Daly Provo said she responds to people using the account they contact her through, but, quote, I do not initiate conversations related to the legislature from my personal account. Have I used private accounts? Yes, but it hasn't been like, ha, 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 they'll never catch me. It's just more been someone's emailed me at that account and I've responded to them. Republican so Senator Todd Weiler says lawmakers know that if their communication records are requested under grandma, the law requires they turn them over. Quite frankly, with my emails. I don't feel like I have anything to hide. But what if a lawmaker did have government records they'd like to keep hidden in a private account? That would be on the honor system. The KSL investigators have found even when emails go through a lawmaker's government account, transparency is not guaranteed. In November, we obtained this email and these two emails from outside sources. They discuss a new self-defense law, and they went through a lawmaker's government account. But when we filed a grandma request for emails related to that bill, these records were never provided. And when we asked why, the legislature told us there's no rule preventing lawmakers from deleting emails if there's no administrative need for them. If I've got an email that I don't want anyone to see, I can then go and delete it. 
And then obviously it's not subject to grandma because it's not there. Once they're deleted, they're gone. And typically I've not played that game, but I know some legislators have. And here's the biggest catch of all. Unlike other public agencies and government offices across Utah, the legislature is not subject to review by the state records committee, an independent body with the power to order the release of records. They created the rules and they exempted themselves from them. I think that's a giant red flag. Today, the legislature has the ultimate say in what records are released. The legislature is not transparent because they are essentially their own referee. They call the balls, they call the strikes. A Senate spokesperson told us the legislature followed grandma law and its records policy when responding to Bejarano's request for text messages. Bejarano told us he believes that policy should be reevaluated. Mike and Dini. Yeah, they want to tighten up that loophole.